open up the navigation tutorial drawing. The tools provided to switch back and forth between 2D and different 3D views appear here in the user interface. There are two tools used to adjust the 2D view in the workspace. The zoom tool allows you to move in closer to add more detail to your design. Position the cursor, press the left mouse button and drag forward to zoom in, back to zoom out. Notice as I position my cursor, that position when I press my left button to zoom in becomes recentered as the new center of the display. The pan tool allows you to stay zoomed in or maintain that zoomed in view while moving around in the drawing. The split 2D 3D view allows you to see 2D and 3D side by side. The same zoom and pan tools work in split view in 2D as they would in a simple 2D only view as well. Other 3D views, like this customizable quarter 3D view, works exactly the same way. You can adjust the size and location of that quarter view window and use the same zoom and pan tools to adjust the 2D view. There are four navigation modes in 3D. Walkthrough mode animated fly around and aerial view which is a top-down view. Room view is similar to aerial view but looks straight down into the selected room through the roof. All of these are available regardless of whether you're looking at the quarter view, split 2D, 3D view, or the full 3D view. Click the animated walkthrough tool, press the left mouse button, move it forward to move closer, back to move away, Press the right mouse button and do the same to move up and down. As we move closer, you can use the wheel on your mouse and scroll it to stand there but look up and down. If you look in our 2D view, you'll see the viewpoint icon. Drag this by the dot to reposition where you're standing in the plan. Drag the arrow to look in a different direction. This is a very fast way to move yourself around in the plan without navigating through the entire house. Animated fly around mode allows you to adjust the angle and circle or hover around your plan. This is a great tool to either design around a specific point or to get a view of the entire plan. In 2D you'll see a reference crosshair it defines the center point that the fly around mode rotates around. By dragging that, you can rotate around a different point in your drawing. Here we'll move it up so that we're actually rotating around the swimming pool. Right click and drag up and down to move closer or further away or change your altitude. Click the aerial view tool to get a top down view of your plan. This is a great design aid in doing landscaping and also working in close in places like bathrooms. Right click and drag to rotate around. Use the wheel on your mouse to move further in or away. The room view is a special view that allows you to select a specific room or rooms. When you click the room view tool the selected rooms will be centered in the 3D view. You'll be looking straight down in 3D into the room, through the roof, and through the ceiling. This allows you to detail small rooms like closets and bathrooms. Two different styles of rendering are available. If your product includes Lightworks, this provides high quality photorealistic rendering not only with clear, crisp images, but a variety of artistic rendering treatments as well. All products include the second shaded rendering mode. This rendering provides shadows and accurate lighting in your renderings also. 
Other rendering modes are available, like for instance this clear view rendering mode, which gives you options to actually make these walls even more translucent in your rendering. Back to shaded view. Other options like lighting, and even the navigation and rendering options allow you to turn on and off different components in the drawing to render in 3D. You can adjust the navigation speed, the camera angle, even the quality of how clear or refined things render. And that's important if you may have a slower processor or less video memory. From our 3D options, we'll go to full 3D mode. This of course gives you more 3D viewing capabilities, a much broader image of your finished plan. The elevation view gives you a rendered elevation look, a straight on look at front, left, right, and back. You can also put in text. This is actually a 3D rendered view in 2D. You can also edit the plan in elevation view. So you're looking at this 2D view, this front view. I moved the window. And now if we go back to our 3D view, we'll navigate around and you can see that that window is actually moved in the plan.